Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin'. We're going to process this total mystery box that we got. It was a general merchandise mystery box that I paid $79 for. And so let's see how much actually goes on to Amazon. Not a lot invested, so we don't have to make up a lot, but we're gonna actually scan through everything and see what we can list on Amazon and where we can put all of the other stuff. So you're gonna actually see me go through the entire process. All right, so we're gonna get started. My hubby's gonna help me today. And so here's the scanner. So I'm gonna get everything set up so that I can go ahead and do some listing here. So we will, um, I pull up my inventory lab and then um, I'm going to pull up my Amazon Seller Central. So let's go ahead and get all that set up. And then as soon as we're all set up there, um, we will go ahead and start scanning and find out if stuff goes to Amazon or not and then how much profit. Remember, we got to make $79.31, which averages out to be about $1.65 per item. They said this was worth $480. Four hundred eighty dollars, but it they is not worth four hundred eighty dollars. No, they had it listed as general merchandise, um, and it had forty eight items, and the retail was four hundred and eighty. So they didn't really know what was in it, but they just guesstimated. Right. So we'll see. Going right. All right, go ahead and scan first one. All right, that is on Amazon. We can sell it in new condition. Let's see it's in what. Good shape. Okay. Amazon worthy shape. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, we will make. I'm going to sell this for fifteen forty four, which means we'll make seven ninety one. Now that gives me the number of after fees. And I have my shipping of shipping it into the warehouse calculated on my inventory lab as a little bit higher than what it probably will actually cost me. And so I do that just so that I know I'm not losing money if I end up with a light item and a heavy item and that kind of thing. So it does calculate based off of the potential weight that Amazon has in their listing on the catalog. Okay, so clearly that's a lighter item than something that would weigh a little bit more. And so it does do an adjustment there. So $7.91. So we're going to go ahead and send that into Amazon and get it all shipped out. So print that label, here's that label. Okay, I am ready for the next one. So 48 total items, let's see how many we can send to Amazon. I'm guessing about half. Okay, this is, this is the bulk box that came in, so we're for right now, probably not gonna ship it in this box because we won't send as much, but I'm just gonna go ahead and toss all of the ones in there that are totally done. This one's on there as well. We can sell it in new and collectible conditions. It's in good shape. It's in good Very shape. Good. Um, then we're going to load it in here. That one's not going for as much, but we can make $5.46 of profit after fees. It's gonna sell for around the $10 mark. Go. Okay, I am ready for the next one. They put uh, these, this is Target, it's putting stickers over the barcode and they're oh. very hard to fill off. Oh, yeah, let me help you. So he is the sticker peeler. That's my official title. Official title. So, those of you who always ask questions, how do you get the stickers off? I do it. Paul, you need to get yourself a Paul. Sorry. Can't have mine. He's mine. I'm excellent. You cannot have him. At removing stickers. He is mine. I went to college for four years, actually five. So that you could be a sticker so that remover. I, can stickers. I went four and a half years, I think. So you have to go five to become an official sticker, sticker peeler. Puller. All right, that one's scanned. I'll take that other one. Okay, here, you can just get that one off. All right, Netflix Super Monsters Cleo Graves collectible, four inch. I need to request approval to see if I can sell this brand. Oh, sad face, we cannot. All right. This would probably sell on eBay though, or on Hooked on Picking. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on Hooked on Picking. So I will make a listing for Hooked on Picking right now. Cool. 
So the nice thing is it is on Amazon, so I can use a lot of the details from Amazon to create my listing so that I don't have to do measurements and all that crazy jazz. So we're going to just go ahead and create a listing right now. If you get that glue from stickers, I use these disinfectant. Lysol wipes? Lysol wipes. Works like a charm. Works like a charm. Again, you have to go to college for five years to learn this. Yes, you do. But once you do, you're good. It's a good thing you have that uh, bachelor's degree in sticker Biblical removal. Studies, Greek, and now I fill stickers. <laughs> Looking for our paper towels, you know what I mean? No. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, they're over there by the Poshmark stuff. So I'm just creating a listing on Shopify, which doesn't take me too long. Where's that one? This one here? Yep. Okay, I'm going to weigh it. So I always do calculated shipping on my store. If you buy over $100 worth of stuff on Hook on Pickin', though, you get free shipping, which is awesome. It's beautiful. Oh, you took it. I took it. Here. Do, 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 do. So it takes a little bit longer to create a listing on my own store, but it's totally worth it because I don't have to pay as many fees. Oh, she pays about 2% in fees on her own store, roughly 30% and fees and miscellaneous stuff on Amazon. 20% on Posh and about technically only 15% on uh, eBay, but uh, when you throw in PayPal, it's more like 17%. So. Right. Um, so I usually price things like, okay, for example, this is $7.62 on uh, Amazon, I'm listing mine for $6.99 because I know I can list it for a lower um, fee simply because I'm not going to pay as high a fees on um, as I do on Amazon. And so if you're looking for this Netflix Super Monsters Cleo Graves collectible 4-inch figure, then come buy it from me at hookedonpickin.com. All right. Where do you want it to go? Created on a shelf okay. back there. You can just make a pile and I'll find a spot for it so I know where it's at. Alrighty. Yes. Wait. No. Yes. Go. I don't know if I want to sell this. This is the Oregon Trail Hunt for Food card game. And I don't know if I want to sell this because I want to play it. Let's see how much it's worth, though. This is how I always gauge if I'm going to keep something or not. How much can I make off of it? I can make $3.17. Should we just keep it? It's big money. No, we're going to sell it. We're money. in the resale business, Heather. Sell the Oregon Trail. I have to yell at myself sometimes just to keep myself from keeping everything and becoming a hoarder. Okay, I'm ready for the next item. We have three items for a total of $16.54 of profit. Ready? Mm hmm. Not on there. What's the title of it? Fortnite magazine? Yeah, it's pretty dinged up too on the corner. Looks like an infant shoot on it for a while. Mm. Okay, let me see it. It's not what you if you want this, let me know. Just email me. I'm probably not even going to put it in my Shopify store. I'll probably keep it for a week and then donate it. So if you want this Fortnite, the essential guide to Battle Royale and other survival games, let me know and maybe we can make a deal and I can even bundle it with some other stuff if you're interested. So that's my commercial. There you go. This white towel has a little bit of blue I'm on not it. not sure what that is. It smells a little bit like detergent. So I think... There was a Tide. Yeah. I think this tight detergent leaked just a little bit on the white towel, which probably can't be washed, but as soon as I do that, then it's no out of its tags. There. Do you want to just keep it? 
Because it's a yeah. nice white towel. Yeah, we'll just keep it. Throw it in the kids' bathroom. None of their towels match anyway. Actually, they do now. We redid the bathroom and now they match. You ready? Yes. Oh, it's not on there. That's what this one was too, yeah. Okay. Opal, Opal House. I don't know what you would call this. Opal House. Let me look it up. Yep. O-P-A-L. O-P-A-L and then house. Might be one word. Okay. Opal House. It's saying sh a velvet sham. Is that what it is? It might be. Feels velvet. It's almost a. Uh... It says teal polyester on this tag. I am not finding it. Not finding it? No. Okay. Shame. 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 All right. You ready for the next one? Yep. Okay, go. Not on there. Um, what is it? It's a towel. Okay. So. More tiles for the kids. Donate or more tiles for the kids. We donate a lot of stuff. But only if it's in good condition. Don't, don't worry, I'm not one of those, I'm going to donate broken stuff. That's weird. Don't do that. Okay? Don't, don't donate your broken stuff. <laughs> or I will come and yell at you. <laughs> okay. This probably would work better on Posh. It's well, a new watch. We'll scan it and let's see what it's worth. I got no scan barcode. Sad face. I can try this. This is the target tag. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Appear. We'll put it on Poshmark. Poshmark. So. If you. Ta-da. A new day. Nice watch. It actually does work. The second hand was ticking. I need to put these on. And. America. I feel very patriotic right now. There's that detergent leaked on this hat a little bit. Sad too. face. Shame. Shame, shame. Shame, shame. All because of one detergent bottle we've destroyed. Right. It two was items. in a bag. I mean, it's in a bag. So if it doesn't feel, does that well, feel wet at the top? I don't know. No. This is my thing. It leaked somehow, though. Of all the things in this box, why do you put this in there? Like, yeah, just don't sense. put it in there. Bulk, don't, don't put it in there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, that's okay. garbage. Garbage. Okay. Does that have a tag? This does. It looks like a curtain. Yeah, they, they put a big sticker. This target, that's not bulk. Okay. All right, you ready? I uh, maybe get the skin. Yes. Hey. It's on there. Beautiful. Stop the madness. All right. And we can sell it. Good deal. We'll have to polybag it. We got those nice big poly yes, bags. Yes, we do. All righty. There are none on there. So let me see if I can find one in a different color. So since there's none on there, I don't know really where to put the price point at. So I'm going to cut and copy the title into regular Amazon.com like I was a shopper. And I'm going to just search and see what pops up for what is one panel in this size and this brand going to pop up for. Looks like around the $20 to $30 range. So since there's none on there, and this is kind of a unique one. It's got a unique detail on the edge. So I'm going to make it $29.99. Um, it has at the top of my listing that the original price is $24.99, but a lot of times stuff on Amazon sells more than the original price. And so since there's none of those on there, someone's probably looking for a replacement for one that got damaged or they have a new window or something. So I'm going to do $29.99 and that's going to put us a profit at $21.12 on one curtain that was not on there before. It has a good sales rank. And label. 
So we're at 37.66. Remember, we have to get to 79.31. Sorry, we're a little bit slow going there at the beginning. All right, next item. Yes, it's on there. Uh, decent sales rank. It is Dove Refresh Care Volume Fullness Dry Shampoo. That's really popular these days, the dry shampoo. Okay, it is selling for $7.99. I make $4.08 every time I sell one. Nice. Oh, sad face. Okay, so it popped up a little message saying it's hazmat, so I can't send it into the FBA warehouse. Likely because it's an aerosol can. Most aerosol cans cannot go. So I'm going to list it on Merchant Fulfill and probably make more than the $4. I'll probably make closer to the $7 or $8. But I will go ahead and do that right now. List it. I will ship this item myself. I used to not like to do merch fulfill, but now that I do shipping, Alexa, stop. Here. It's sorry. It's reminding me to go get my kid. Um, so I'll leave in a minute. Don't worry. We'll resume the video as soon as I get back. Um, but anyway, so what I was saying is that I used to not like to do merch fulfill, but now I, since I ship all the time for Poshmark, it's not a big deal to just throw an extra thing in the shipment. So um, this will, I'm going to set it here so it goes in my merch drawer. So, Ready? yes. Oh. What? It's a sticker. Oh. i scan it, see if it pops up. Nope. No. I think it's covering the barcode. Okay. They faked me out on this one. Uh, while I'm doing that, you want to look at the uh, this little um, donut thingy? Plush. Plush, squishy, squeeze, squeezimals is what it's called. S Q U E E Z A M A L S. Squeezimals donut. Oh, I found it. I just got to find the right color. <laughs> they have names. What's this one named? Dave the Donut. <laughs> Dave the Donut. Oh, this one is called... What is it called? Dritty Donut. Dritty Donut. That's what it's called. It's cute. Is it worth anything? Let's see. They're selling currently for eight fifty four online, so absolutely he's worth something because it's not going to cost a lot to ship him in because he won't, doesn't take up space. So, all right, let's make sure we can sell it. Yep, in new condition. Yes. So, after fees and such, eight... 53 is what we're selling it for. 3.98 we will make after fees. And we'll have to poly bag him. Okay. I have some little bags right here. He might fit in one of these. Mm. Okay. Bigger one? Yeah. All right. Did you get that one off? Yep. You ready? Yes. Not on there. Not on there. All that work and Do you want to uh, look it up? Yeah. Easy storage. Easy Y. Carton. K-A-R-T-O-N. K-A-R-T-O-N. storage container okay what size is it 9.1 quart 8.6 liter nice it's the first one that pops up no sales rank though it's okay so do you want to send it in or not i'm okay with it okay let me get the ace in for it i wonder if it'll fit in this bag That one? Do we have bigger? No, we just have those long, clear plastic ones. Okay. okay. 
$12.99, $7.47. We're gonna make a plastic container. Beautiful. Mm. No, you can put it in those plastic ones off that roll. Behind the padded envelopes. Here. Yes. And while he's doing that, America. You want to try to see if you can't find this. Here is its uh, LP, LP tag. Number. All right. So the thing that you guys should know about bulk is that they give you this LP number. And so you can actually go to the manifest of the order. So you go to your orders on your bulk.com website. You find the one that you bought. 48 items, 48 items, case. Where's it at? Here it is. And then if you go to download full manifest, actually, I'm gonna stay with the pictures. No, there's no pictures. Download complete manifest. Um, it gives the LP number. Um, oh, this isn't gonna have a title because everything is called general merchandise oh. on this one. Because this was our mystery one. If you haven't seen the full unboxing, check it out. I give you all the specs on this one. Um, but let me just... Look it up at Target, like metal... Coffee table decoration or something. Yeah, sphere. Is that a sphere? Yeah. Round. Target.com. Metal sphere home decor. Hey, what's that right there? This is just, yeah. No, that's, no, no, the thing that's on the stand. I know. It's called a geosphere. There's some more in here. Hold Pretty on. Pretty close. Geosphere. Okay, let me look it up on Amazon now. Metal geosphere. I'm not finding it on Amazon. But now I know what to call it when I list it on my own website. So I'm probably going to put it on Hooked on Picking. So if you want this amazing $2 million item, I'm not going to charge $2 million. No. But if you want this, it's kind of cool. It'd be a perfect coffee table type of thing. Um, I'll put it on Hooked on Picking. I think that's it. Wait, Besides that's not glasses, worth anything? This has been opened. Sad face. The Legos. We don't sell open Legos. Nope. Uh, we do sell the pieces. What is it? On eBay, I have a Lego lot where you can do um, 11, or not 11, 100 Lego items a piece. So do you want me to look that one up by name? I don't even know if it has a name. It just says made by design. Okay. It's a, it's a Target brand. Okay. All right. You might actually like it. So we're going to make, okay, so let's finalize what we got going on. All right, we're going to grab the camera and show you what we have left on the tables, and we're going to describe where we're going to put everything, all right? All right, so we're currently at six items are going to Amazon for $49.11. We spent $79, so we're hoping to make another $30 to make up our money on this mystery one. Now, we bought this mystery one just for out of curiosity. I knew probably wasn't likely to make up our money, um, but I think I still might be able to actually make a profit. So this will be selling on hookedonpickin.com. The America glasses and these kids glasses will probably sell as a lot. These adult glasses will sell individually on hookedonpickin.com or Poshmark. This baking pan, same thing. Um, I've got a wall hanging that's in good condition to sell. These are useless, they're gonna go to trash. Um, and then what I probably will do is use the rest of the Tide. Uh, this hat, we'll see if we can't clean it up and put it on Poshmark if it, goes, if it stays clean. And then this collapsible bowl, we're gonna look into possibly um, cleaning up and putting on Poshmark as like new, as well as some of these um, other items. And so I'll see if I can find a stock photo of this. This almost looks like a velvet bed skirt, the way that it's cut and, and everything like that. The baby wipes will get donated um, to our church nursery. 
and then these towels will get sold. So um, I think we'll be able to eke out the $79 to break even with possibility of being able to sell a few more things. I also have that Fortnite um, one. And then also the six items that I said are going to Amazon does not include the one that I'm merch fulfilling that I'll add an additional seven or eight dollars. And also the, the Netflix Super Monsters figurine that I've already got listed on Shopify that you saw me do as well. And so that doesn't include that. So we're at $49 and then we got those two items already listed, the watch, and then the other items you see on the table. So hopefully we'll be able to make a little bit of profit on this, but it was kind of a gamble. I really wanted to see what is a totally general merchandise palette or case look like. This was a case. I didn't spend a lot of money on it, so I'm not out a lot of money, and I don't think I'll be out any money at all when uh, everything actually sells. So hopefully it's been helpful to see what exactly we are going to do with this complete mystery box that we got from bulk.com. So hopefully um, we've got a couple of other boxes coming that have a little bit of general merchandise dice in it with some that are already described. So we'll check those out and be putting those videos out for you to peruse as well. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are a true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.